First, we must be clear on what we mean by mass extinction. Extinctions are a normal part of evolution. They occur naturally and periodically over time. There's a natural background rate to the timing and frequency of extinctions. 10% of species are lost every million years, 30% every 10 million years, and 65% every 100 million years. The Andor Division extinction is the first of the Big Five. This event saw the extinction of approximately 85% of marine species. Triggered by a severe ice age, it led to a drastic drop in sea levels, followed by global warming. The combination of these factors caused extensive habitat loss and a significant decrease in marine biodiversity. The late Devonian extinction was a prolonged event lasting around 20 million years. It primarily affected marine life, wiping out 75% of species, including most coral reef builders. The exact cause remains debated, with hypotheses ranging from asteroid impacts and volcanic eruptions to changes in sea level and anoxia. The end Permian extinction, also known as the Great Dying, is the most severe extinction event in Earth's history. About 96% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial vertebrate species went extinct. Massive volcanic eruptions in Siberia released large amounts of greenhouse gases, leading to global warming, ocean acidification, and anoxia. This event reshaped life on Earth, giving rise to the dominance of reptiles in the Mesozoic era. The end Triassic extinction, often mistaken for the event that killed the dinosaurs, actually set the stage for their dominance. Around 80% of species went extinct due to volcanic activity associated with the breakup of the supercontinent Pangaea. The resulting climate change and ocean acidification were catastrophic for many species, allowing dinosaurs to become the dominant terrestrial vertebrates. The end Cretaceous extinction is famous for wiping out the dinosaurs. About 75% of all species, including non-avian dinosaurs, went extinct. The leading hypothesis is a massive asteroid impact near present-day Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. The impact caused widespread fires, a nuclear winter, and long-term climate changes. This event opened ecological niches that allowed mammals to thrive and evolve into diverse forms, including humans. As we ponder these past events, a looming question arises. Could we be heading towards a sixth extinction? Many scientists believe human activities such as deforestation, pollution, climate change, and overexploitation of species are driving a rapid loss of biodiversity. If current trends continue, we could trigger an extinction event rivaling those of the past. <laughs>